fabulous, wonderful, amazing, fantastic, beautiful, stunning friends, and welcome to my life as a crazy bug lady. Today I have something way super, super different coming, and um, I kind of got myself into a bit of a, a bit of a thing, you see, because, well, I am a bug lady at heart, but I have always wanted a reptile. So I have thought about it for so long about thinking about getting a reptile and I've just uh, been putting it off because the care requirements and I just want to make sure, you know, I love my animals. I want to make sure I have time and, you know, all my resources set for any new pet that I bring into my home. But you see, I fell into a trap. I don't know if it was a trap, but let me explain. So I was looking for feeders for my tarantulas and my mantises, and I wanted to get some fun things, like some different things like hornworms and waxworms to feed them. So I stumbled upon this site called Rainbow Mealworms, and I started filling up my cart, and then I saw a section that said feeder lizards. And I was thinking, feeder lizards? And I click on it, and sure enough, there are lizards meant to be fed to snakes, they said carnivorous birds, whatever. These are lizards that you can buy to feed to other animals. And I mean, you know, circle of life, I know, you know, everyone's gotta eat. But something about thinking about those poor little lizards being fed made me so sad. And they were $5. And so I impulse added one to my cart and I checked out. I did it, I did it. I bought a $5 lizard that was meant to be <laughs> fed and I decided to take it and keep it as a pet. Um, I got a house gecko because I don't know, it was either that or an anole and I don't know, I like geckos, I guess. So I picked the gecko and so I placed the order and I started looking into the care requirements for a house gecko, thinking like it's gonna be super easy. I'm gonna keep them in like this little tank. I have like some extra little enclosures I keep mantises in. like. It'll be so easy, like, it'll be nothing, right? Wrong. Wrong, I tell you. I instantly stumble upon a video talking about how um, house geckos do not get the care that they need. And this, of course, just pulled at my heartstrings knowing that people get these poor little lizards thinking, you know, they'd be so easy and then they actually need really extensive care. Well, not really extensive, but it's certainly not as easy as one may think it may be. So I sit here and I think about what I've done. I've already bought, I've already paid. He's already gonna come in the mail. So I have no choice other than to get ready for that little gecko to come. And I decide I'm gonna try and take the best care of him that I can because he's cute, he's adorable, and it's a creature, it's a living thing and I'm gonna cherish it. And I'm gonna do my doggone best to take care of it. So I jumped right in and I got everything I need needed yesterday to take care of this little guy. Um, I have the enclosure, which was one that I actually already had that I got off Craigslist. I was very, very lucky that I had this beautiful enclosure and I went ahead and planted it and did a completely bioactive enclosure. It has isopods and let me just show you. So here's the enclosure that I have for my gecko. Um, it's a pretty decent size. I don't know how big it is. Opens from the front and top. Um, and yeah, I planted it. It has a ZZ plant. Let me open it up for you. So it has a ZZ plant, a pothos. I have a water dish here, but I am also planning to mist daily to keep the humidity up because they are tropical. Um, and I put some branches and back here there are two cork bark hides. I heard it's really important that they have good places to hide so they can feel safe and secure. Um, so I got all that worked out. Here I have a little food dish for mealworms, which I have in there now. And I went ahead and dusted them with some calcium um, because that's the thing that you have to do, you know, with tarantulas, there's no, you don't have to gut load or dust the food. So I had to go ahead and buy some gut load and I also got the calcium dust. So that's all ready to go. There's plenty of hides. So this is a decent size enclosure. This is much bigger than what I thought I was gonna need. 
but I am lucky I had it on hand. If you have to buy one of these outright, I don't honestly know how much they are. Probably like $70, I think, for the something this size. But according to the videos I watched, they do need space. It's very important. So I wanted to make sure that they have that. So they have the hides. There's also some live plants, which are going to help with the humidity and keep that up because that's very important. Um, what else did I get? I also got some gut load for the food. And I also got some of this. I hope this is good. Calcium Plus. I've never had a reptile before. <sighs> so I got that to keep him nice and healthy. And then um, also I see that they do need a warm environment. I did already have this heat mat. Um, I know it's probably not big enough, but I think it will suffice for now until I figure out what heat mat I will need. But it's better than nothing for a couple days. Um, so I have this heat mat. Um, they are from a tropical environment, so heat is necessary, I suppose. And then the last thing, which was something I totally didn't even think about, but it seems like it's kind of debated, but a lot of people do claim that you need lighting for them so they can have um, at least UVB lighting and they are nocturnal. So some people say they don't need lighting, but I thought better safe than sorry and I've never bought lighting for any of animals before because all of my bugs are a-okay without any lighting. Um, so I got this and I gosh I really hope that it's right but it does have UVB and it says it's tropical. It came with a bulb and a lamp so I figure we'll put it on one side of the enclosure so he can have a warm bright side and then a cooler dark side so um i really hope that this will suffice and give him the lighting that he needs so if you're thinking about just simply getting a little feeder gecko to keep as a pet and that it will be easy and it will be pain free you are wrong <laughs> it's not pain free but i think it will be super worth it I've never had a reptile before. This will be my first ever time keeping a reptile. I'm really excited. And even though I'm really lucky that I do have a lot of things on hand, a lot of tools on hand, I had this enclosure on hand, the plants that I planted in the tank I had on hand, the isopods and the substrate. Um, I had the cork bark on hand. I still did end up dropping like $70 extra to buy like the lighting and the, um, calcium and the gut load and I think I bought an extra cork hide I wanted to make sure it had plenty of hide options but anyways point being if you were thinking this would be easy it's not easy it's not simple but I think it will be worth it and I'm really excited that I can give this little guy hopefully an awesome life um, instead of him just being eaten by a snake <laughs> it seems like this should be good I'm hoping he'll be okay on his own I don't know if they do better with friends or not um, I do not know at all if it's a boy or a girl. Without any further ado, I want to show you my brand new Impulse Buy, but I did make up for the Impulse by doing a lot of research and I feel like I did okay. Um, <laughs> but please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. I am a complete and utter noob to this, but I want to show you my little guy. He is so cute. I opened the box and saw his face. I instantly knew that the pain, the struggle, the money spending was worth it because he's so cute. I hope you can get a good look. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing that I can handle, but obviously I'm pretty used to not handling my tarantulas. So um, it's not a big deal for me. I am totally fine observing animals and not holding them. I have a cat who wants to be held 24 seven. So, you know, Having someone who doesn't need my attention is perfectly fine, but he is just pulling at my heartstrings. I'm just, I love it. Like, I love it so much. And I really hope I did it justice by setting up this enclosure. I wanted to do bioactive because I thought that it could really thrive in that environment. I wanted to make sure it had space, so I'm really hoping it did well. But yeah, here he is. Oh, he's so cute. And um, these lizards are B grade, which is funny because I've only ever heard B grade be used, the terminology used when talking about things like goods, like enamel pins or something, B grade. 
meaning that like they could be missing like limbs, fingers, could be really skinny or small. Um, but I love him. <laughs> In my eyes, he's perfect. So yeah, I want to go ahead and put him in his enclosure and see what he thinks. So are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm nervous. I hope he likes it. What if he hates it? Do you think he'll tell me? Okay, I am hoping that you are able to see this okay. Um, it got dark in my room. But here is the enclosure I have set up for my little friend. There's perlite at the bottom to help the plants not get too waterlogged. Um, here's a live real ZZ plant and a golden pothos down here. There's also a polka dot plant in the corner. There's some branches here, um, water dish, food dish. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are two um, pieces of bark here. And then here there's actually a tube where it could get inside and hide. Um, I figure that this will probably be okay for this little guy. Um, I hope that he likes it. Um, like I said, I've never kept reptiles before, but for him this size, I think it looks good. So let's go ahead and get him in there. Okay, so here he is. I really hope he goes in and not like out into my room. Okay, little guy. It's your time to go. Go in. That's my cat. Fleur, you're not welcome here. I want to touch him so bad, but I know he won't like that. I don't know if I've ever touched a reptile in my life, to be honest. Okay, we're just, um... Waiting for the exit. Go ahead and go. Oh, and he's off. There he is. Oh, he looks so cute in here. So little. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in love. You are so cute. Yay! I have a lizard! It's all for you, buddy. Okay, so update. I have the lighting on, and here's my little lizard. Just looking so cute. Yeah, it's really adorable. And here you can kind of get a better look at the enclosure. I hope he likes it. There's a lot of good places to hide in the back. Yeah, there it is. Kind of looks like a little naked mole rat. But I'm quite happy. Alright, well I really hope that you enjoyed this weird, totally different thing for me. Because as you know, I am a crazy bug lady. And I'm really not a crazy lizard lady. But maybe I am now. Who knows? All I know is that... I feel like this little guy is gonna do really well in his home. I'm really excited to have this little guy instead of having him be snake food. But let me know what you think. Please let me know if you have any tips for me as I venture into the world of being a reptile owner. Oh, I'm a reptile owner. Sounds so nice. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. And I hope that you say hi to a little lizard if you see one on the sidewalk while you're walking around and if he's just doing little push-ups like lizards do um anyways i am gonna go eat food now i'm hungry okay say bye lizard